Hi guys, today I'm going to explain about the MD5 checksum you see listed next to file downloads. If we go to the Cisco website and we hover over one of these downloads, uh, you see at the bottom of the pop-up box an MD5 checksum. I'm going to explain what that's for and how we use it. So for us to check the MD5 checksum of a file, we have to use a piece of software, the one I use is called md5sum.exe. You can download that from the internet. So what this does is it guarantees that between downloading the file and it getting on your computer, it hasn't changed, providing the checksum that you get when you check it on your PC is the same as the one on the website, you know that the file hasn't changed so nobody's tampered with it and also it hasn't been corrupted during the download. So to show you how how the checksum works I'm going to do a little demonstration. Here I have a picture I downloaded from the internet and we're going to check the checksum of the picture. So what we're going to do is md5sum and koala. Okay, so the MD5 checksum is that long number you see at the beginning, uh, 4A344700, etc., ending in AAB1F. So that's the MD5 checksum of that picture. Now, if that picture was to change at all, whether it be tampered with or whether it just get corrupted during getting emailed somewhere or getting downloaded then that MD5 checksum would change. So what I'm going to do is open the picture, make a very small change, save it, and then check the checksum again. So here we go. So there's our picture of the koala. I think I will just change something small in his eye. So, for example, take the pen tool and let's change that there. Okay, so it's barely, barely visible a change. I just gave a little, uh, anyway. Okay, so it still looks like a koala. It's still, it's unnoticeable the change we made, but, um, if somebody sent us this picture, we would never know it was different from the, the one that was intended. So what I'll do is save this picture, close Photoshop, picture's still there, DIR, it's still the same file size, um, 65585, so the size is the same, it looks the same, how can we know that it's been changed? Well, we'll MD5 sum it again. MD5 sum koala. So now, instead of starting with 4A344, it starts with 56F78. And it's different all the way along. And that's how you verify the integrity of a file using MD5 sum. And it needn't be a picture, it needn't be a piece of software, it could be. 100 page legal document that you're sending to somebody and you could send the file it could be your will you could leave you could leave a will and you could say to a third party look this is the md5 sum of the word document that is my will and that way it's easy when you're gone to verify that not a single full stop has been added or removed from that file because if the MD5 checksum is different you know that that file has been tampered with. So you're verifying your downloads, you're making sure it's not been corrupted, you're verifying you don't really need to verify a picture unless it, you know unless need be or um, an important legal document. A will is a great example because some people might want to change them but if you've if you've taken the trouble to get an MD5 sum 
of the file beforehand then you can tell people that this is the MD5 SEM it should be and providing it matches you know that that file has not been changed. So if you didn't know beforehand hopefully now you understand a lot better what that strange long number is next to some of your downloads and um, you also understand that should you ever need to guarantee the integrity of a file for any reason that is one way to do it okay guys so that's it I uh, hope you enjoyed it and um, I'll try not to leave it so long next time before I make another movie